Let's recap. So we made models, models that reflect and represent the database entries. And from there, we made our sign up backend logic. So the backend logic is real simple. We created a new cross site reference hash and we set up objects for the user and the info models and also made default color array so that we can then cycle through the default colors so we can get a default color when somebody signs up since they're not going to have a picture. And then we made rules for all the different inputs that we have from the JavaScript. So we have all the rules in here. We validate all the rules, saw if everything went through. If it didn't, we sent out the errors. If it did, then we made a new user. We made a new, we, we put in their info and everything like that, and we did it straight up and then we echo out. So now I wanna make the, let me just get rid of this. Now I'll keep this open. I wanna make the, the logout because I want you to see something. Okay, I want you to take a look at something. So let's go to, I want to look at my logout script from before. My logout logic. Let me just double check. Did I put it here? I'm pretty sure I did. And I'm completely wrong. I did not put it there. So it was users. So if you look at the, so the reason why I want to log out is because I want to move destroy. Okay. Remove destroy, remember that. The reason why I want to put in the logout is because Yeah, let me do that. Let me do what I did last time. So let's go to controllers. Let's make a new controller. We'll call it user. Again, I'm talking Laravel conventions. So, so anyway, we'll make a new controller. When you make a new controller, you do a namespace, app controllers. Pretty much the same thing. And then you use code igniter controller. And then we make class users extends base controller and then from there one of the first things i'm going to do is public function logout and that will be session what was it no wait uh why do i keep closing this stuff i just like double checking myself like i said it's session remove logged in session remove logged in session destroy, which is gonna just wipe it all out. And then I'll show you why this thing doesn't return, redirect to I'll even put in Facker public, I'll even do that, and I'll show you it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. Let me double check. Move logged in. Did I call it logged in? That's another story. Let me see. I called it logged in, right? Yeah, logged in. But now we have to make a route and we have to just make a route. We don't have to go nuts. Because there's no page. We're just making a route. So we don't have to make a view. And the route is going to be, I think it's a get, right? Yeah, I'll say users logout. Users logout. Um, is it a kid? Now I gotta look that up. See what I'm saying? I am so nuts with double checking myself, it drives me crazy. I should just be like, yeah, screw it, I did it right. Let me see, where's my logout? Yeah, it's a get. Kind of bigger. Alright, so there you have it. So I'm just going to show you, okay? And another, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the to the landing page. And we're just going to go like this. Uh, where can you actually see it? Yeah, I'll just put it here. And we'll go like this. So as I said, sessions are variables that you could, that carry over. So if I go back to the landing page, there's nothing there, right? So now let's try to sign up. So if I put nothing in here, then you get all your error messages. 
right? Hold on. What? What happened there? There's always a problem. Yeah. Why did you, what? But you see what I'm saying? You see how it says the comp field is required? That's what you would get if you didn't have the, the rules. But I have the, oh, I misspelled errors, my God. <laughs> errors, nice job. Always a problem, you always miss something. All right, so you see, answer, answer a first thing. So now if I put in one letter and I put in one letter and I put in one letter and one letter, if I do that, that cannot be that long. That's a styling issue, though. CSS. Hold on. Let me go. Well, I said, yeah, I did say that it was position absolute. That's position absolute. But typically it would drop down. Why is it not dropping down? Hold on. Let me, let me change. <clears throat> Horn top 35 pro, let's say with. Uh, how wide is this? 375, right? This way it'll drop down. So let's try that again. D, 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 D. And there you go, all right. So, you see, password must be at least characters long. Your first name must be at least two characters. Your last name must be at least. So, now let's put in some real information. Carmine. This Stefan. This Stefan. No. That's me. CD the book, man. And I'm going to put in a password that I'm not going to tell you what it is. And let's let's not get the password right. Let's, let's put in something else. All right? Passwords don't match. See? Beautiful check. So now, if this works, we should have an entry in the users. We should be able to see the, the ID in the landing page. And we should be immediately diverted to the, or redirected to the, the dashboard with our ID. And we got that. Okay, hold on. But we got the, there it is. Hold on a second. It's in there. <laughs> There's the info. There's the user ID. Okay, I don't know why it did that, but hold on. Let's go like this. Let's take a look. Well, good. Then we can make two, two characters, two members. All right, let me just take a look. Did I misdo that? No error. Hmm. Hmm. Looks right to me. Split if, oh shit. <laughs> oh boy, it's early. Not really, I've been awake for a while. If, of course, I'm sorry, you wouldn't know because I didn't tell you. All right, well anyway, if we go to dashboard one, look, there's our ID, like I said with dashboard. And if we go back to the thing, there's our ID. Okay, so it's all there. So we have a user. Now, if I were to go to the logout, it does that. I don't know why. It does that. It does it every time. But if I go back to public, Facker, public, as you can see, there's no ID there anymore. So we have a user. In fact, let's let's do a new one. Let's create a new user. Let's let's call the, the new user uh, Joe. Hello, 
make his username Joe Blows, and we'll give him a password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll go, it did it again? What happened? Probably because I didn't. Hold on. Let's make another one. Feck, fecker, feckin' fecker. There we go. Finally. All right. So that that's what was supposed to happen. So now we have three users. <laughs> I didn't want three users. But we need them to log in. So let's go to the logout. Okay. And I don't know why it does that. It shouldn't if you have it from like a, a, your own virtual server. So now let's do the sign in. Sign in is just a blank page. Yeah, we're going to have to style that page. But now you get an idea of how to do all this stuff with JavaScript and everything like that. So now we have to do it again. So let's get rid of the sign up. Let's get rid of the landing. Oh, yeah, let me get let me get that out of there. Get that out of there. Let's get rid of that. Let's close that. Hard refresh, by the way, folks. That's what that was. Main CSS, I don't really need to worry about. Routes we've done, but I'm going to keep that open. Users will not add yet. We'll get to that in a sec. Now it's time for the sign up page, baby, or sign in, baby. So you know the routine. We have to, we have to implement our sheets. Maker public. Now it's going to be a few days till I come back and do. So we're not going to be doing this again till like Friday early morning. So. There's going to be a, a, a gap between these videos. Basically, the way I'm going to do these videos is I'm going to do them on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's when I'm going to do these videos. So you'll see like eight videos over the weekend, and then you won't see any for a while. And I'm going to be working on another project while I'm doing this with my Bookman Gaming channel. So CSS pages. And what we'll do after this, main is we'll be doing the dashboard. It's really the dashboard is just going to be that the header, and then we're going to make a, a left, like a side, a very simple one, nothing, nothing major. So we've done this already. So we just got to do it again. We'll just make a sign in. Sign in wrapper. And we'll get sign in heading. And that'll be our H3. Sign in to, to your factor account below. I don't even know if those are the words, but that's where they are. And we'll make another one. We'll make the Sign in form. No, sign in area. I'm sorry. And then I'll make the form. Post. And you know what we did before. We did previously. It'll be... Um, on submit. Almost lost it for a second. Event. Prevent default. Post and real simple, we just have sign in top, which will be the text. Oh, wait, almost forgot. CSRF token. Again, this is how you echo out things. Echo out means, in PHP, it means like print. It, it means just get the value and print it out. And value equals 
speaking of value, hash, and the ID will be sign in. Can't forget that. It'll freak out if you do. Won't let you do anything. ID equals sign name. Username. This is going to cause a little bit of an issue, but not really. You'll see. And then we're going to go like this. P error. Sign user. And we'll just go like that. Sign in bottom. Password. No, sorry. It's supposed to be the ID. Password. Placeholder equals password. And then we just go like this. Error. And then pass error. And again, we'll just do that. So we know where everything is. Sign in buttons. And I don't really think I need. Yeah, whatever. We'll do it. Sign in link. It's A. And that will be factor public sign up. Create account. And Okay, button, primary button, on click, sign in. Yeah, I was right, sign in. I just hope I remember where we are when I come back. Okay. Anything else I need? Nope, we're good. Should be good. So again, if we go here and we hit refresh... It looks like complete dog shit, so we have to style it. How much time we got? Oh, we got some time. Now, it won't be as ridiculous as the sign-in, because basically we're just going to be... I mean, sign up, because basically we're just going to be doing a sign-in. I'm just trying to think of how I screwed this up. Anyway. This is going to make a mess, but we'll do it. It's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Sign page styling. It would be sign in wrapper. You know about the padding. You know about the border. I really should just make a, class, a variable called default border. Is that what I did? No, I did too. Ten pixels. Uh, width, I think we can just make it like 400 pixels. And I think height, we'll just make it about 300 pixels. And then slide in. Heading, text align center, margin top, 10 pixels, margin bottom. That's for the whole header. And then when we want to do the the H3, we want to make that font size 25 pixels, font family, Roboto, there we go. I think it's Roboto. Color. Eight. And margin bottom. Give it some, give it some space. And P. 
font size, we'll say 14 pixels, color, we'll just keep it as, we'll keep it somewhat dim, but not too dim. And that should be it, right? Right. Oh, I didn't. I didn't give it its its thing. Margin. Auto. Margin top. Uh, I say about ten percent. So we can center it. Uh, might be very high, but I'm like in terms of height, but whatever. Should be okay. Form. Margin left. 10 pixels. Margin right. Pixels. Sign in. Form. Uh, input. Border, one pick solid. This one was three. Height, should I say 25? With, if the thing is wide, then we'll say 300 pixels. And outline none. Border radius is five pixels. Font family should be that. On size should be that. Padding should be that. And send form. Input. Focus. Border to pick solid. Primary color. Outline none just in case. Always got to double check yourself. Sign in. Form. Input double, 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 placeholder, font, all right, hold on, color, uh, I think I did a three on that one, Ooh, double check. Really? Did I misspell something again? Really? I called it sign and area? Alright, called it sign and area then. I thought I called it, I guess I changed it. Now I put all this in main, in main inputs, but that's for the, the actual sign itself. That's not for the sign and shit. There we go. Now, we don't want it hugging each other, so we have to do a height. of 30 and I uh, no wait height of 60 and I think this might be a little too high so let's go with 20 wow that's even higher no no no, no not the inputs my fault this one top and sign bottom. And bottom. Height 60. Okay, that should be better. Let's take a look. There you go. Okay, that looks nice. Let's make them a little wider. Let's get to 370. So it kind of spans the globe. And. Uh, yeah. Nah, I don't know. Do I want to make it that wide? I don't. If you do, make it that wide. Okay. Yeah, it's, that's okay. I'll deal with that. That's fine. And and the arrows look good. So as long as the arrows look good, we don't need to have them in there. What do we add? 25. No, we got time, man. We could probably do this whole thing. If I can get the sign up and sign in done for you in one day, that'd be awesome. All right, sign buttons. It's a 
display flex and justify content space between. Yeah, that should be okay. Text information none. Color primary color. Font size fourteen pixels. Font family. I think it was Varela. No, it was. Uh, it was And so, hey, hover. Oh, wait. I believe that's what I always do. There we go. Yeah, it is kind of high, right? And I want to move that over. So we'll do the sign buttons with. Will be three fifty. This way, it's it's spread evenly. And I can make the height. I can make the height like two seventy. There you go. But that's still way out there. I don't want it way out there. Three hundred. Three hundred work. No, no, the buttons, man. Oh, I didn't put in pixels. Fuck. Always screwing something up. Always not paying attention. Trying to rush. Haste makes waste. Yeah, whatever. All right, so there you go. So now you have this, you have this. So, same logic, folks. We're at, we're not even at 30 minutes. All right, that's good. So where is my sign-in check? Sign-in check. Here we go. So, first thing we want to do... New sign in token equals. See it. Oh, yeah, I didn't even. Hold on a second. I didn't do the JavaScript yet. Try to jump. Haste makes waste. You will get it started. I'll just do this. So, with function sign in, it's the same thing that we did before. We just need username, uh, S username, I'll call it document remember you're sending this to a place that already has all this stuff document that has when we signed in it has all those I mean the functions separate oh, wait was it what was it going? all right I'm gonna have to stop here then I'm sorry